Actually, the whole idea of a standard for luggage locks goes well before 9-11. It goes back 30, 40 years. When I first started working at the airport, one of my duties was working in customs. And when bags arrived unclaimed, we had to open those bags for inspection by customs. Otherwise, they would break them open. So I knew already back then in the early 70s that this was an issue. The second is I was head of baggage for a large uh, U.S. airline, and we would get all the unclaimed baggage from around all the airports in the world sent into a central facility. Our job was to open those bags, look for clues about who the passenger was, and try and find out how we can get that bag back to the passenger. And we would do it with things like looking at prescription bottles or letters and things like that. Again, we needed to open the bag. And the third was, before 9-11, in fact, there was a very tragic accident in 1985. There was an Air India flight that was bombed, and it was luggage with, with a bomb inside of it. That changed the whole perspective of baggage security around the world. And in fact, we had to, in 1987, start screening all international baggage for explosives. Most people don't remember that, but in fact, that meant that we had to x-ray bags, we had to open them for inspection. So this actually predates 9-11 and it predates the Transportation Security Administration in the US. What changed then is that instead of just worrying about international baggage, the TSA was mandated by the US Congress to inspect all baggage, domestic and international. And that's when the real change happened and that was the catalyst to creating a common solution. Prior to that, how did we deal with it? Well, in the airport environment, we would collect keys and we would figure out how to open the bags so that customs would not have to break them open. In the central baggage tracing facility, we did the same thing. We had collections of keys and the same thing for security. So in 2002 and 2003, when I was asked to come help start the TSA, one of the programs that I devised was a master key ring. We had about 50 different keys on it for the different brands to try and help not break open bags. And in fact, I even had to develop the procedures to break open bags if they couldn't open it with the keys that we had. The whole idea is make the screening more effective, don't break bags, and don't delay bags. And that's the goal behind Travel Sentry. After I left the TSA, I was asked by both the representatives of the travel goods industry, so that's the lock and luggage people, as well as the people at the TSA, can you come up with a solution? I said, yes what we need to do is simplify this 50 keys down to something much more effective. So what we did is we set up a standard, we got that agreed by everybody involved, and we created what I would call a win-win situation. So it was good for the government and the security agencies, it was good for the luggage companies, but more importantly, it was good for the customers. It meant that their bags could remain locked, it meant that their bags would not be delayed for screening, and that they would not be damaged.